Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to add the cool bits registry modification to your registry and unlock the overclocking utility in the NVIDIA display manager and I'm also going to show you a tool called ATI tool for overclocking ATI radio on cards. What I first want you to do if you've got an NVIDIA card slightly more complex before you can get overclocking I want you to go to this tiny URL and you'll need to save this data as a registry key so you need to save page as coolbits.reg and then open it up you want to click yes because you want to add it to the to the registry but I've already added it so I'm going to click no now what you've done is you've modified the registry and you now have a new setting in your, your graphics card options if you go into this tab here for your graphics card you now have this called clock frequency settings what this lets you do is it will allow you to overclock the core on your video card scroll down and click I accept and you can now start playing about with the frequencies of the core and the memory I'm going to click fan always on because last time I did this my computer crashed which I shouldn't be telling you but anyway I'm going to just try it at about 484 that'll do and then you put the memory up 10 megahertz test these changes ok right you want to apply these and hopefully my computer won't crash this time please please don't right now you want to go to ATI tool. Now although you've got an NVIDIA graphics card you you can still use this for testing and you need to click scan for artifacts and to get this tool what you need to do is you need to go to this tiny URL here NF8FX and download that, install it click scan for artifacts it's running a test now basically like almost like Prime 95 for your graphics core you just let that run for a wee while test that you're not getting any artifacts or any errors and that basically ensures that you've got a stable overclock and your great games aren't going to crash and whatnot. If you've got an ATI card basically this is a very simple utility very similar to the one I just showed you for NVIDIA cards that allows you to alter core and memory speeds and basically that's how you overclock your graphics card um, you might want to also look at better cooling for your graphics card with a third party cooler or if you've got you might want to look for a voltage mod I've actually got found this one for my card which is a 7600 GT and what that will allow you to do is increase the core voltage on your graphics card so you can get a much higher clock speed out of it but there is always a possibility that you could destroy your card doing this if you do it wrong or if you have insufficient cooling but if you're prepared to take the risk it's probably well worth the benefits and I'm just going to leave it at that you now know how to unlock the secret utility that NVIDIA has built into Display Manager and you now know how to overclock your video card. Thanks for listening.